Hi, welcome to Mondays with Melissa. Today I want to talk about online websites, apps, and programs for estate planning documents. These might seem quick, easy, and cheap, but they're really going to end up costing you more in the end when you have to either have them redone or when your family goes to use them for you and they're hit with some sort of hurdle that allows that, that doesn't allow them to do what they need to do. For example, there are online document drafting programs where you can do a power of attorney, a healthcare proxy, a living will, and even your last will and testament. But when you're sitting across the table from an estate planning attorney, you're having conversations about the people that you're naming. You're having conversations about who you're choosing to make financial decisions on your behalf and who you're choosing to make healthcare decisions on your behalf. And even more importantly, you're talking about the members of your family, whether they're above you in the family tree or below you in the family tree, and your attorney is asking you questions. Questions that we know to ask so that we can properly draft and execute documents. You're not having that interaction with an online program where you're just filling in the blanks. And unfortunately, sometimes people don't even think about certain circumstances they have going on until they're sitting down and having a conversation with the attorney about it. I can't tell you how many times I've had people say, oh, I didn't even think of that, or that's interesting, when I'm asking them questions preparing the format for their documents. Also, I've actually had people come in with wills that they prepared online and they didn't choose a New York document because it wasn't clear on the online program that you had to choose your particular state and so they had signed a document from Pennsylvania. As I'm sure you all know from watching Mondays with Melissa, every state has different laws and rules when it comes to handling these documents. So if you're living in one state and you execute documents from another, you're bound to have problems and hiccups. And those are gonna cost more in the long run. So keep a human interaction involved. I know we all like to do things online, but the best way to handle your power of attorney, healthcare proxy, living will, your last will and testament, and of course a trust, is to meet with a qualified elder law and estate planning attorney and have the hard conversations. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next week.